Hi guys, this is lesson 3.10, problem solving. You're gonna put things into equal groups. So we start off here with the problem that Theo puts his stickers in five rows. There are three stickers in each row. How many stickers does Theo have? What do I need to find? Well, we need to find how many stickers Theo has, and we've underlined that when we cube. What information do I need to use? Well, I have five rows of stickers, and there are three stickers in each row, okay? Show how to solve the problem. Now, columns typically go this way, and rows go across, but it really doesn't matter as long as you have three together five times, okay? So, we have five rows of stickers. Let's start off with that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so here's each set of five has three. One, two, 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 three, four, five. We have five, five rows of three stickers. Okay, so we have, we can count by fives. We can count by threes. Or we can count them all individually, but that would take a long time. So I'm gonna count by fives. Five, 10, 15. We have 15 stickers. Okay. Moving over to page 218. Maria puts all of her postcards in four rows. So immediately I want to make four circles, either up and down or side by side, okay? There are three postcards in each row. How many postcards does Maria have? So an easy way to do this is to take one of the numbers and make that many, okay? Then when it says in each row, you take that other number and match them up. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so I can count by fours, or I can count by threes, or I can just count them all, but it's much easier if you count by threes. Three, six, nine, twelve. And we have twelve postcards. You can draw squares. Um, circles are just faster and much easier to draw, so I, I, that's why I draw those. Jamal puts four toys in each box. How many toys will he put in four boxes? Okay, so he has four boxes, and there are four toys in each box. So one, two, three, four. If you need to take a minute to catch up, pause and do that now. He has four toys in each of his four boxes. You can count by fours, you can count by twos. You can split them up like this. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. And know that he has 16 toys. Okay, go ahead and pause this now if you need to. If not, we're moving on. We are looking at page 219. It says, Mr. Fulton puts three bananas on each tray. How many bananas are on four trays, okay? Now, if you wanna do it this way, if this will help you see, it's perfectly fine, okay? You can draw your four trays, right? Okay, and you can put three bananas in each. One, two, three, these are good looking bananas. One, two, three, one, Two, three, one, two, three. Okay, and then you can count them that way. Three, six, nine, twelve. And you have twelve bananas. If that helps you, that's fine. Okay, you can do it in the rows and the columns. Um, that's the way that they want you to do it because it sets you up for multiplication. Okay, so they want to get your brain used to the rows and the columns. But for right now, if you need to actually draw the boxes or the trays or the um, 
whatever it tells you to draw and put something each inside of them, you can do that, okay? There are three rows of apples. There are five apples in each row. How many apples are there? So let's say we have three rows of apples, okay, and five apples in each. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You can also do it this way. Five, 10, 15. Whatever way is easier for you. You can do it this way, or you can say I have three rows of apples and there's five in each. One, two, three, four, five. And do it this way and say, you know, three, six, nine, 12, 15, or 5, 10, 15. You can count them all. You can count by twos, however you want to do it. There are five, four plates. Dexter puts two grapes on each plate. Then he puts two grapes on each of six more plates. How many grapes in all does he put on the plate? Okay. So this one is something you have to do a two-step. Two-step problems mean that you have to do one side of the problem, then you have to do the other side, and then you have to put them together. So there are four plates, so let's draw those plates. Okay, and there are two grapes on each plate. Two. Okay. Then he puts two grapes on each of six more plates. So we need six more plates. <laughs> There's already a grape in that one. See how I have four and then I just added two more. Okay, put the grapes in here. They kind of look like buttons now or maybe eyes. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So we have 20 grapes, and it makes sense because six plus four equals 10. And if there are two grapes on each of the 10 plates, two tens is the same as 20, okay? Pause if you need to. Um, if not, we're moving on to page 220. Also, if you need to rearrange little things in rows, you can certainly do that, like with pennies or um, beans or something like that. Like if I have, let's see here. If I have four, four rows of highlighters and there are two highlighters in each row, I could do it this way. Okay, or I could say I have two, two rows and there are four in each row or either way, okay? If you need to actually grab something, if we were here, we would use beans or um, teddy bears or counters or something. But since you guys are at home, um, if you need to use it that way, just find something around your house. Pennies work well. Just something that way you can see it in your hands, okay? Angela used these counters, so she's using counters to act out a problem. Write a problem about equal groups that Angela could have modeled with these counters. Okay, so she either has two rows of two rows of five or five rows of two. See? One, two, three, four, five. You've got five rows with two in each row, or she has two rows of five. Let's go ahead and go with five rows of two. And her name's Angela. So, Angela has, let's use a problem that we've already had here. Hmm. Angela has, well, first we need to figure out how many postcards she has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Or you could say five, ten. So she has ten, okay? So we could say Angela has ten cookies. 
comma, she puts them in, you could either say two rows of five or five rows of two, and then put your period and then you're done. That's, that's fine, okay? Um, you don't have to turn it into a question because I, I think that's, that's a little bit hard for you guys, um, especially without me being here, as long as you know that there are two rows of five and five rows of two, okay? Max has four friends to get books, or Max and four friends get books from the library. Each person gets three books. Draw a picture to show the groups of books. Okay, so Max and his, and four friends, so there's five of them, because you're counting Max and the four friends. One, two, three, four, five. There's Max and his four friends. They go to the library, and they each get three books, okay? Draw a picture to show the groups of the books. So, we're gonna act like that he already has one book in his hand. One, two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. How many books did they get? Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Or we could say five, ten, 15, because there's 5, 10, and 15. Okay, go ahead and do the practice and homework on your own.